Breaking news, Sarah Palin will resign her office as governor within a few weeks. In fact, at the end of this month, a stunning announcement made just a short time ago at her home in Wasilla, Alaska. And the lieutenant governor, Sean Parnell, will apparently be inaugurated at the governor's picnic at the end of the month, according to Governor Palin. No immediate word on why she's resigning. Of course, there has been rampant speculation that uh, she'll make a run for president in 2012. She made this announcement as she was flanked by most of her cabinet and indeed the lieutenant governor who will be the new governor of Alaska under the law of Alaska. Carl Cameron joins us once again, our chief political correspondent. What's going on here, Carl? Well, I gotta say, if she wants to run for president in 2012, uh, resigning as governor now before the end of her term raises a whole series of political questions. Uh, her, her critics will suggest that she made a commitment to the voters of Alaska to be the, its governor, and she's, for whatever reason, and we don't know that, uh, she's not fulfilling that commitment, so uh, giving her an opportunity to run for president might be a bridge too far for some Republicans in Alaska under those circumstances, never mind the rest of the country. Uh, it, that really is something that caught many, many people off guard. Early this morning, when as we were sort of preparing for all this, it became evident that that there was a sense of anxiety amongst Republican Palin supporters in Alaska that this announcement might be uh, something far more unexpected. There had been discussion for months, literally since the 2008 presidential campaign, in which, of course, she was John, Ma John McCain's running mate, that she might not seek re-election in 2010 in order to run for president. Uh, that's worth noting that she, by simply not seeking re-election, she would be on a par with the likes of Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, who's also not seeking re-election and who is seen as as a current governor, uh, as, as a viable and likely respected and popular Republican nomination candidate in the 2012 cycle. Uh, so Palin's departure comes at a time when her popularity is, remains sky high. She is very controversial. The left, liberals, Democrats, absolutely love to hate her. Within the Republican Party, she's a polarizing figure, particularly among female Republican women. Very, very yeah. deep division over what sort of a candidate she'd be for national office at the top of a White House presidential ticket. Right. Uh, all of these things said, she continues to absolutely command the nation's attention. Sarah Palin holds a news availability at her home in Wasilla today. No national camera is able to get to that remote part of this country, and yet she is now sucking the oxygen out of everything. Not, even the 4th of July now dominated by Sarah Palin.